Another massive bailout scheme is on the table for one of Korea's biggest shipbuilders, but whether they will get the financial help they need depends largely on one of its biggest bondholders, the National Pension Service. Wu oh Seung has the latest on the efforts to revive the sector that was a key to the nation's economy. Will the world's second largest shipbuilder be granted another lifeline? The National Pension Service has requested more information from Tail Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, ahead of a meeting on Friday where it will discuss whether or not to partake in the bailout scheme. The $6 billion rescue package is largely backed by the state-run Korea Development Bank, the company's biggest shareholder and creditor. Its success largely relies on securing an agreement from other corporate bondholders on debt-to-equity swaps and rollovers. The proposal suggests out of a total of $3.4 billion in debt, $2.6 billion be converted into debt-to-equity swaps with a ratio of 50 or 80 percent. The rest would be given a grace period of three to five years. All eyes are on the National Pension Service, TAIL's biggest bondholder. It holds 43 percent of corporate bonds maturing next month, worth around 170 million U.S. dollars. Watchers believe the agency will likely go ahead with the plan, considering past investments as sunk costs, but it is expected to tread lightly. NPS is feeling the heat due to the Samsung merger scandal where the final decision was reached without following principles and was affected by external influence. So if it takes the initiative to unveil its transparent decision-making process in this case, it would help dispel public distrust of the pension service. Requiring extra data from Teo can be seen as a part of that effort. Teo is currently the world's second largest shipbuilder by revenue. But due to a fall in global demand for vessels, coupled with other industry-wide difficulties, the company's finances are barely keeping afloat. It has already received $3.68 billion in a rescue plan in 2015, but has failed to beat its liquidity crisis. Without the latest bailout scheme, it will not be able to pay back the $395 million worth of bonds set to mature on April 21st. Tail Shipping's creditors will sit down mid-April to discuss the debt-to-equity swap and rollover plan. If the proposal falls through, the company will likely have no choice but to enter court receivership. Oh Seung, Arirang News.